Hello, it's Barbs, and Happy New Year! While I'm coloring this lovely image of Betty and Akumu, I wanted to talk about a few things that have happened to me recently and my plans for the future. So let's go with that. In case anyone didn't know, I worked at an after-school program with kids aged 4 to 8 since February after I was at risk of being laid off from my last job at a college. Notice how I said worked? Well, I recently quit that after-school job not too long ago, and I'll explain why. I quit because we were crazy understaffed. And by that, I mean we had three consistent group leaders who managed 27 kids. They were split up to 10 each. That's a whole fucking lot of kids to manage by ourselves. And it was not like that before when I started the job, and I hated it. Like, if there was someone with me, like how it was before, like another group leader with me, with that many kids, I wouldn't have minded, like it would have been fine. But of course, that wouldn't and couldn't happen because we didn't have a lot of people. Oh my god. I, I don't want to go into full detail about that because it's stressful just talking about it. But obviously, it was so bad that there were days where I dreaded just the thought of going to work. I didn't want to get out of bed or would stay a little longer in bed. I would leave my house a little later rather than leaving a little early as I usually did. And I would get easily irritated by everything in that job, which was unusual for me. Like I just felt depressed, angry, and hopeless. Like it clearly affected how I worked and no matter what approach I took, nothing was going through to the kids that I worked with and my boss would only tell me the same thing, to be more firmer as if I haven't tried that before. There are times where the kids will be wilding out so much that I just didn't give a shit. I just let them wild out because I, I just I just couldn't. And of course I couldn't do that very often because it impedes their safety. So yeah, that's how you know it's bad when I stop giving a shit at what they do. On the week before Christmas, I had a breakdown in front of my boyfriend after a really stressful day at that job. After I told him how the job has been affecting me and how he understood why I was always stressed out because he thought it was a full team until I told him that we were only three people with almost 30 kids, I decided that quitting was my best option. I felt like if I stayed there any longer, I would eventually break in a way that I don't want anyone as well as myself to see. So yeah, that's what happened and my mental health has gotten better since then. So it was probably for the best that I quit. So that means I have to look for a job now, which is not going well. And my parents aren't helping me with that. They think just because I have a college degree that I should be just fine. But that's the problem with living with boomer parents. Degree equals job for them. But it's not like that anymore because of our fucked up economy. And explaining to them that degrees don't really mean shit nowadays is like talking to a wall. I was even asked by my mom, what are you doing with your life? You have a degree. Why do you not have a job? Oh, I don't know, mom. Maybe it's because you kept nagging me to go and get a degree that I didn't even want to get and risk drowning in student loans just so I could live up to your standards and expectations? Hmm, gee, that sounded real smart, now does it? Ooh, sorry, sorry. I just, I needed to get that out of my chest so bad, oh my god. So that's my current situation right now, and it sucks. But do you know what doesn't suck? doing art and animations! So here's some other updates that are going on. The Betty Noor's Awakening animation is almost done. So hopefully the turnout will be really great because I'm very, very excited about it. I'm also planning on making more story times, but this time they will be animated. I've already sketched one out and I'm ready to get into it ASAP. So I'm also excited about that one. Yay! I'll still do some Glitch Cell fan art, but Please know that I want to do other things like making portraits and other original art stuff and they'll be just as great. So hopefully you'll understand and not leave. <laughs>
Please don't. While I'm going through a shit job search, there are a few things that you might be able to help me if you want to keep seeing my content. I just created a coffee page, which is like Patreon, but cuter. For now, I'll be taking donations for as low as $3 at a time. That money will definitely go to bills and buying better equipment like a microphone, because God help me, I need one. <laughs> so yeah, I put the link in my channel and I'll be putting that in the description. So any type of donation will be greatly, greatly appreciated. I will love it forever. I've been thinking about it and I feel confident in my art skills. So I would like to start doing commissions for you guys. If you really would like to commission me, please let me know. I'll have the info link below and hopefully they're reasonable because my god, I suck at math. <laughs> if you can't do neither of those, then watching, liking, and sharing my videos would also mean a lot to me. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and DeviantArt. I'm mostly active on no sites and that's where I do polls on what topics I should do, like post sneak peeks of my animations and work in progresses. I have Tumblr as well, but I'm not as active over there. Oops. I do have Twitch, but because my internet is so shitty, I am afraid I might not stream as much, even though I would like to. I, I am so sorry for this bombarded video. It was a lot to get out, and I should not have made it this way, but hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from. I know I'm a small creator, and asking for help may seem much. But I noticed that most of you really like what I do. And that alone means so much to me. It's because of that that I was able to make some friends and I actually enjoy interacting with you guys in the comment section as well as other social medias whenever I share my artwork. So yeah, it, it means a lot. Doing art is something that I always wanted to do ever since I was a kid. However, it was often neglected by my parents. They didn't see that as a career path, unfortunately, so. This is how I ended up today. But now, I have a goal in mind to make art as more than a hobby. Yay! Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!